Hi guys, Bart here from Hamilton Pain and Injury Clinic. So, uh, just coming after another clinical peril. So, last week we looked at uh, how previous injury can impact your body, um, and this week we're just going to touch on uh, probably one of the most overlooked parts of pain and injury, and that's recovery. Are you giving your body ample time to recover? So, a lot of people, especially if they're athletes, um, and this video is probably more suited towards those who are, you know, um, training. Uh, on a regular basis, uh, CrossFit athletes, GA players, gym goers, that kind of thing, okay? Um, and a big thing that a lot of people think is the more I train, the better I'll get, the stronger I'll get, the faster I'll get, and so on and so forth, right? But what we're actually seeing is, a lot of studies have shown that recovery is just as important, if not more important, than the actual training itself. Um, so the way I think people think it goes is you train hard, and it just goes on a linear kind of up to the roof until there's no limits, okay? So really what happens is you're training with no recovery, you're gonna train, you're gonna go in that trajectory, then you're gonna plateau, and then that plateau is actually gonna start going downhill. And the reason for that is you're just not giving your body time to rest and recover and repair. So what's gonna happen is muscles are gonna to start to fatigue, okay? Um, they're gonna to start to fatigue a lot easier, and then they're gonna get kind of tight, it's gonna become a bit like a threat response, okay? So if you feel like a muscle's gonna fatigue quickly, it's gonna start getting tight, okay? Um, and that's where you get muscle tears and stuff like that creeping in. So if you think of like a GAA player who is, you know, could be a duo player, could be training three nights a week, have a match midweek, have a match at the weekend, and then they're trying to hit the gym two or three times a week as well, their body is just going to be absolutely crying out for that time to just rebuild and just relax and recuperate. And if you're not giving it that, you're gonna set yourself up for pain and injury. And chances are the pain and the injury that you're suffering now is as a result of overtraining, not getting enough rest and recovery. Another part of rest and recovery that we kind of like to um, tip on is sleep. Sleep is vital, it's so, so important. I cannot emphasize how important getting a good night's sleep is. I had a client in who was training um, at an elite level, to say the least, um, you know, running 70 kilometers a week and so on and so forth. Um, but when we looked at it, get four hours sleep a day, a night. And basically, if you're not getting sleep, that is the optimal time for your body, for your muscles to repair, for tendons to repair, for ligaments. You know, that's, that's when your body does all the work that you've kind of built up through the day. You, you know, you're breaking stuff down for your body to build it back up again. And if you're not getting adequate sleep, you're not giving your body the best opportunity it has to repair itself. And the other thing is, if you're not getting adequate sleep, your cortisol levels are going to be through the roof. And cortisol is a stress hormone, okay? And that can have two effects. Cortisol is a good hormone at the start, but it can become catabolic, which means it can start breaking stuff down, it can start kind of using muscles as energy and breaking muscles down and stuff like that. But also, it can create a sense of fight or flight in our body, okay? So if our cortisol levels are constantly high, we're gonna be in a state of fight or flight. If you're in a state of fight or flight, you're gonna have muscles tense, you're gonna have things getting very stiff, you're gonna have a lot of the easy trigger responses. So, you know, your hamstrings might start being tight, so you go to sprint off, and you get that little twinge in the hamstring and stuff like that, okay? Because your body's in fight or flight and it's basically telling you, don't do this stuff, okay? Cortisol levels are high, we're stressed at the gills, there's something wrong here. And that's as a result of basically overtraining, you know, not giving your body the rest it needs, but also a lack of sleep, okay? And if you are not giving yourself the time to relax and to, to bring all that stuff down and let your body repair itself, you are going to set yourself up for injury. It's plain and simple. When we talk about rest and recovery, we're not talking about sitting your ass and doing nothing all day, okay? If you're somebody who needs to be active, you know, go for a light bike ride, go for a walk, um, but don't train at the intensity that you have been training in. So if you look at maybe some CrossFit athletes who are training five, maybe six days a week at really, really high intensity, fair play to them, I couldn't do it, but at the same time, where is the opportunity for that body to recover, to rest and repair? It's not there, okay? So those of you who have chronic kind of pain, niggles that just won't disappear, and you know, you're doing all the mobility work under the sun and so on and so forth, have a consider about um, 
Are you getting enough recovery? Are you recovering well? Okay. How quality is your sleep? So you maybe you're getting seven hours of sleep a night, but is that quality sleep? All right. Um, there are things to think about because it's extremely overlooked. And like I said, there's a lot of research coming through that is saying that recovery days are as important, if not maybe more important, than the actual training days themselves. Okay, so to sum up, if you are somebody who's training hard, hitting the gym regularly, getting out doing a lot of exercises or a you know, specific sport that you're doing, and you're not giving the body ample time to um, recover and you end up becoming in a state of fatigue, recovery is really something that you need to look at. It is probably one of the higher points in the hierarchy to nail before you start looking at all other kind of mobility work and stuff like that. If you have any questions, give me a shout and we can talk to them. Give me a buzz on the phone or you can send me a DM. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.